Okay. Oh. Hopefully it's going to be not too busy of a day. Well, I kind of like a busy day. That means things are going really good. Oh, gosh. I forgot my patient's chart. Let me go find the chart. So we can get this clinic open, get this day started. So much to do today. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Who do I have this morning? I can't remember who I have. Oh, I'm sure they'll be here shortly. They'll be here soon. Let's see. Let's get this all together here. Let's see. What do I have? Got my drugs ready. I know they're going to get an infusion. I just, oh, we'll see how it goes. Let me get this all up here ready to go. Things just get so tangled. I tell you, IV tubings everywhere. It just makes it so hard. Oh. Oh, I don't feel good. I do not feel good, you're, sis. You're oh, I think she's right. coming. Oh, come it's on. Gonna be it's gonna, sis, I have this awful headache. I oh, my gosh. Listen. I want you to listen. I'm so to depressed. It's going to be better for you. No. It, it will be. Oh. Tell her it's going to be better. It's, oh. it's I just, I don't feel good. Now, I don't feel now, good. Look, I've got so this terrible you headache. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I, I, I just I don't. want you to, I, I want you to listen to me. I, I know what's oh, best for you, okay? My head hurts. Look, I, I stubbed my toe this in the I, middle of the I night. I take you to this clinic. Oh, this clinic, it's oh gonna no, help, no, it's no. It's going to help you a lot. Really? It, yeah, yeah. It, oh, oh, hi. I'm your hi. sister. Have I ever said anything that would not be good for you? Okay. I guess this, I Come guess. On. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what do you have planned? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to take some blood, and we're going to see what's going on, okay? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you, I trust me. Okay? Are you sure? It's going to be fine. It's, it's going to oh. be fine. It's going to be okay, Fiona. So nervous, Fiona, okay? I want you I'm to calm down. I'm glad I have Fiona with me. <laughs> I hope this helps. I know it's going to. It's going to be I, fine. I don't, th I don't, Are you sure, I don't know sis? if you can get up there or No, not. no, just keep her in the chair. Oh, okay, I got some more okay. patients coming, so. Look, just talk, okay, talk okay. to your little doggy, okay? He's Fiona, coming. it's, it's going to be okay, Fiona. Okay. Right, They're not going to hurt here. me. Here, let's just straighten her up just a little bit, okay? <laughs> I'm trying my best. I mean, I know. she's gotten me so upset, too, because, you know, she needs help. She's depressed. Oh, yeah, anxious, I've been depressed. Depressed, anxious. So depressed. You got some heartache going on. Yeah. Financial distress. Everything. 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 If it go, if it goes wrong, it She's happens so to me. In life and oh. I'm to so like, if there wasn't, if you didn't have luck, if you have luck, it's bad luck. That yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, what we're gonna do first. We're gonna take some blood. It's not gonna hurt. Okay. You sure? I'm sure. I I'm gonna have your that. sister stand on the other side. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have your sister Fiona, stand on the other okay. side I, and I, hold I, your hand. I, I will. I'll, look, look, look. Here, give me the, give me the fan. I'll hold your doggy. Look, you look okay. Like All right. Okay. All right. Okay. I just need your arm, though, this arm, okay? All right. Okay, I'm just going to roll your sleeve okay, up. Okay, okay. I'm going to put this little towel around. Sure it's going to be okay, sis? It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Are going to take my blood? Yeah, I'm going to take your blood. It's going to be good. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, my God. Ready, ready? Oh, oh my gosh. I see the problem. <laughs> That oh, there's, fast. oh my gosh, there's so much, oh, What's a lot that? of anxiety, yeah. well, yeah, despair, yeah, loneliness, yeah. depression, She's got such disappointment. I've got it all. okay, oh my gosh, you just feel like you've been let down completely, <sighs> yes, yeah. like so there's nobody for you, she, you don't sleep good at night, yeah, I don't, you don't, I, I'm oh, up all you probably night, have I mean, I used to night, my ter night, night terrors and nightmares, yes, and you everything. just feel like you're under attack all the time, yes, okay, well, I got the thing for you. Okay, I have another patient coming, but I'm really? gonna get. You, we're gonna test this, and we're gonna get you all okay, fixed up. Okay. All right. Okay. Where's my other patient? It's he okay, should be Fiona. here any minute. He should be walking in the door. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Where's he at? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's another day. Oh, you ready? What is the Lord gonna do for me today? <laughs> my gosh, he's been so good. What, what more can he do? Are you ready for your daily oh, infusion? Oh yes, I'm ready for the let the, let the blood flow. Hallelujah. All right. I'm excited. <laughs> Man, oh my the gosh. blood okay. of Jesus has paid for it all. Okay. For me to have love and joy and peace and go oh, this laid on me. I'm ready for oh, no, some you're more. Oh, you're fine right okay. there? We'll just, okay. we'll just yeah, you're staring right there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about her. Okay, you ready? Okay, you I'm ready. ready. Okay. I'm ready. I need, I, need, I need your arm. Just kind of let the rest of it down. I'll have to come around in front for just a second, okay? You're a little slow now. I'm a little slow? Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm ready. Well, I got to tell you, you know, so you're here for the whole blood, right? 
Oh yeah, bring it okay, on. Okay, so I got I've got to do this. So I got to go through this safety check. Okay. So um, this blood was collected. The date of collection was about 33 A.D. That sounds right. Sounds right. Yeah. And it expires. Well, it never expires. Oh yeah, that's right. I know what this is. Oh, and you know, you want to know who the donor was? Uh, I, I believe I know. The Perhaps. donor, volunteer donor for this was Jesus Christ. Ah, yeah, that's it. That's okay. it. That's what I want. Um, the <laughs> indications for infusion, well, it says anything and all things. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I, that's what um, I believe. The contra, you want me to go over the contraindications? Sure. The contraindications for having this infusion is nothing, absolutely nothing. So no bad things, only good things. Yep. Universal donor giving only positive and miraculous blessings. Oh, yeah. That's oh, wait, I wait, want. wait. You know, they sent me an updated. They sent me an updated contra okay. indications. I got to go over this with you. I mean, there's something more I can yeah. get? Yeah. Oh, they said, oh, it also. This is exciting. It also makes you victorious. Oh, oh yeah. You know, it also brings you peace of mind. Oh, she's never had peace of mind. And, it, you know, well, oh, <laughs> listen to this. It will give everlasting life. Yeah. Sign okay. me up. Bring it on. You know, it will also change your life. It is okay. more powerful than anything on the earth. Wow. Oh, wow. I was already sold, Thanks. but I'm really okay. sold now. Lay it so, on me. So, also, okay, it says, given as soon as recipient ask. So, you want this. Yes, I got to have your consent. Thank do I have you. your consent? Yes, you do have my okay. consent. There are, there's no waiting period is required, and it takes effect. Oh, wow. It takes effect immediately. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Well, here we go. Thank you, Lord. You ready? Thank you, Jesus. Okay. This may prick just a second, okay? Okay. Oh. We got it in? Oh, look at this. You're doing so good. Okay. Hard part's over. Hard here part's comes the over. good stuff. Hard part's <laughs> over. I'm just going to lay this little towel around here in case we lose anything. Okay. Okay, here you go. It's just that there it goes. Mm. And see, oh and it's yeah. white. It's not like your regular blood because it washes you white as snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so his blood is special. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Miss Nellie, are you ready? How do you feel? Wet. <laughs> 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 well, you said you wanted it fast. I was trying to slow it down. It's not going where it's supposed to go. <laughs> there you go. How's that? Is that better? That is way better. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Are you ready? <laughs> okay, so we're going to go. I got to do the safety check with you, okay? I'm not into needles, man. I just don't what? like needles. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's, you're not going to even feel it. I'm going to put it where I took your blood from. So you're not going to even feel it. Oh, jeez. I don't okay. know, sis. I don't know. Okay, oh, so I got to go through the consent. You, you ready? It's okay. You ready? I guess, I guess. Okay. So, again, we're doing the whole blood. Okay, and the date it was collected was about 33 A.D. Oh, my God. And it expires never. Never expires. Like really? Oh it my never gosh. grows old. Oh, wow. And the volunteer you donor. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Volunteer donor is yes. Jesus Christ. I guess, I guess. Indications for infusion, anything and all things. So all wow. your symptoms are covered. Woo. Um, contraindications. So. So. Scared contraindications, still. there's absolutely nothing. And a universal donor giving only positive and miraculous blessings, peace of mind. I need that. It's the Boy, most powerful thing. Oh it makes gosh. you victorious, and most importantly, it gives you everlasting life. Oh, my so, gosh. Yes, I need that. I need all that. Do you, as long as I have your consent, we can give it right now, and I it'll take effect immediately. I guess, but I'm, I'm you got your consent? Still, I, I okay. guess, I guess. I'm just going to hook it up to all wherever right. I had. I'm still nervous about the needles. Oh, you don't need to be nervous about the needles. I know, you know it's one, but it's still ready? a big needle. That's it. We're in. Yeah! <laughs> Look at it. Uh, ow, 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 Oh, ow. come on now. Ow, it's not ow, that ow, bad. Ow, 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 ow. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to cover it up a little bit here with some gauze. Okay, okay, Make sure okay, it's all okay, good. Okay, it's just okay you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh. No. Now, it may feel a little funny going in. Oh, it may uh, it, it shouldn't burn any. Oh my, I've never seen blood like that. Oh I know because it washes you white as snow. Okay. Oh my you gosh. You see it coming? Oh my, yeah, I see it. Oh it's my gosh. It's coming. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, 
Oh, oh, here it comes. Oh. So now it may, oh. it may, it may feel a little cool at first. Oh. Is it? Oh, it feel, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is dripping there, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. This is awesome. So I do. I feel better. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm not depressed anymore. And my head doesn't hurt anymore. Oh my gosh. I feel so good. Thank you. It takes care of wow. everything. Oh my gosh. It takes care of yeah. everything. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Oh my <laughs> gosh. This is amazing. I've never felt this good in my life. Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you, sis. Oh, you're such thank, a you. thank you, Jesus. Yeah, oh, hey, oh my do you gosh. feel like you can get up and run around? <sighs> Maybe. Oh my gosh. You want to try to stand okay, up? you're all done. Sure. You want to try to stand up? Come on. I'll you're all done, too. Okay. You, you, you hold me on? I'll hold Sorry. Up. Okay. Okay. All right. Watch out now. Watch out. Don't trip. Don't trip. Be careful. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Oh, sissy, you've been set free. You had an infusion of the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, nurse. Absolutely. It's not for me. That's all from the Lord above. Oh, oh, and, oh. Thank you, sis. Okay, okay. It was all worth it to come today. Amen. Thank you, God. Yes, thank you. Thank you, God. You're so, you're so good, and you're so healed. I'm going to let you push your wheelchair out of here. <laughs> like they did at Catherine Kuhlman meetings. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Well, you get an idea of, of where we're going. Is my hair sticking straight up? Oh, I'm leaving my hat on because it'll so, be a total mess. You know, we wanted to talk about the precious precious blood of Jesus Christ, that it's ours. It's ours. And I know that there's been other uh, sermons on it, but we wanted this illustrated sermon just to let you know when you get the infusion of the Holy Spirit or the infusion of the precious blood of Jesus or his love, it all comes in one infusion from him. Amen. Amen. Look at your notes. There is no other way to be released from the grip of sin than the blood of Jesus Christ. The redeeming power of his blood was shed for me. It was shed for you. So remember that as we meditate and mutter and think upon the sacrifice, that means you could go weeks and days thinking about the precious blood of Jesus and how he donated his blood for us. The life blood, it's in the flesh. We are flesh. Jesus came as flesh so he could identify with us. Number four, your redemption and my redemption will never fade away. It will never perish from us. So I thank you, Father, that, you know, we don't have to think about, you know, here we are speaking the gospel and living for God on this earth. It'll never fade away. The precious blood of Jesus is always there. It's an application for us to apply in our lives. So yeah, so I just want to touch real fast on number two. We can come close to him. So I had a situation at work, almost every job I've been in, they know who I am, they know what I stand for, and they know what I believe. And so sometimes I'll have one of the coworkers come to me and they're like, okay, just do your thing. I'm like, what? <laughs> just do your thing. Lay your hands on me and do your thing because I need it today. So they come to me. I've had coworkers come to me and be like, I need you to go ask God for me. I go, I, you can do it yourself. But I don't, but God doesn't talk to me. He talks to you. I go, well, he wants to talk to you, and this is how you can do it. So he sees, you know, the people around us and our coworkers see who we are and what we're about. So we can go to them. So just the other day, it looked like it was going to be a really late night at work. And I have this one, co a couple of coworkers. I'm like, I've been praying all morning, all the way to work. That is not going to be a late night. We're going to get things done. And they're like, we're going to be here for at least an hour and a half. Late, maybe two, but it's going to be late. We were done an hour early. She looked at me and she goes, I don't know what you got, but you have a direct line to the man upstairs. Uh -huh. I go, you know what? I do. I do. Yeah. I'm not going to deny it. I have a direct line. And each one of you has a direct line to God. You don't have to go through anybody else. You don't have to go and 
do so many count so many bees you don't have to do so many acts of goodness you don't have to do this you don't have to do that he's right there waiting for you all you have to do is come to him come to him so did you know that jesus testifies on your behalf he is the faithful witness who has washed us from our sins so testifies is your fill-in and this is another story i love stories but does everybody here know who the singer carmen was Okay, he had a song. I do not know the name of the song. I know my husband can tell me. But he had a song, and if you ever watch the video, he's in court. There's this guy in court, and the devil's over there accusing him, accusing him of everything. You lied, you cheated, you stole, you did this, you did that. You didn't do this, you didn't do that. And he's like, the judge goes, well, he goes, I'm, I, all I can say is I'm guilty, but... I plead the blood of Jesus. And he's like, okay, all charges dropped. (laughs) You know, I don't know the exact wording of the song, but it's like that he testifies. Jesus walks in and is like, that's one of mine. I'm taking responsibility. That's one of mine. They're fine. Their name is in the book. He testifies because of the blood that he shed. He testifies. Amen. I want to talk about um, this testifying too. And you were saying that, you know, there's a lot of singers out today, and they kind of thread it through their songs. All right, you go to YouTube. I I wanted to use it, but we've had too much uh, material already. Bob Dylan is a Christian, and there he is at the Golden Globe Awards, and he's got all of his crew singing with him. You're going to serve somebody. Either you're going to serve the devil or you're going to serve God, but you're going to serve somebody. (laughs) There he is with that crazy voice of his. Look at how many millions of people watch that. So he's sending this message out. He didn't get up there and say, I thank you, Jesus, that you're good. But he did it, and he threaded it through the song. You're going to serve somebody. Either you're going to serve the devil or you're going to serve God. But you're going to serve somebody. I'm saying it like that because you need to testify of who Jesus is. That's right. People don't like to be reminded of the blood. Dave was always... Uh, saying this uh, with some of his professors at Princeton, you know, here he's, you know, party man and, you know, going crazy in the world, heavy drinker, heavy smoker. I wouldn't have had anything to do with him. I told him that a long time. (laughs) But, you know, this was in his crazy days. And then God began to work on him after he got his history degree. Then he told his dad, I'm not going to the stock market. God's calling me. I don't know what you're going to say about this, okay? So he only knew the Presbyterian church. So He goes to Princeton to the seminary and so forth. He gets really into it. Then there's a little group that's hungry. They're testifying of Jesus to each other. They're hungry about the blood of Jesus Christ. They begin to look up the scriptures on their own, mind you, not from the professors. And so Dave went to one of the professors. Oh, he didn't like Dave. He didn't like him at all. And then he gets up and does a lecture to the class, this professor did. And he said, all of you bloody Christians out there, mocking scripture and he's a professor supposedly teaching the word of the lord be careful who you're testifying about make sure your testimony is about the blood of jesus christ make no apologies because jesus christ is the one that we serve because of the precious blood that cleansed us amen amen so there is freedom and there is liberty as we stay close to him we have the right And our spirits are sealed from death and destruction by the enemy, the devil. So freedom is your fill-in. Because the blood of Jesus is the most powerful thing ever on the face of earth. It is over anything the devil could ever do. So the devil can't defeat us if we have the power of the blood of Jesus within us. So the only one that can defeat that is yourself if you don't. So it's your lack of knowledge, it's not going, it's not following the word. But the power of the blood is the most powerful thing. And all it takes is one drop. I mean, it doesn't take a whole bag. You see, I only gave them a little bit. It's a little drop of his blood is all it takes. That's how powerful it is. We are justified through the blood of Jesus. Just as if we had never sinned, our debt has been paid in full, and it was paid once... And for all, 
Now, a lot of different churches and religions, um, uh, let's say Hebrews 9, 28, let's read that one. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. Uh, okay, so the point is that once and for all, he has paid it all for us. So unfortunately, when Dave and I served in a church in New Orleans for over 25 years, you know, it was repeated over and over, you know, you've got to confess your sins all the time, uh, you know, Jesus, you know, you've got to go and lay on that cross, you know, with Jesus and identify with his sacrifice. Okay, that, that's all good, but it was in a wrong context because, you know, they were saying that we needed to apply that precious blood over and over to our sins. And Jesus said, you know, I'm not going back to the cross another time. I did it all that's right. once and for all for humanity. Yeah. Amen. Number yeah. eight, what joy as we remind ourselves there is no debt to pay. The blood of Jesus was a gift and is a gift that he gave to all mankind. Thank you, Jesus, that you died for me and the precious blood was spilled to release us from the pain of sin and death. So, on number nine, Jesus laid down his life. He was willing to do it and said, is it not working? He is willing to do it and said, no one takes my life from me. I give it freely. Mm -hmm. So freely is your fill-in. He gave it freely. Um, can you imagine? Are you willing to give your life freely? How hard it is, how hard would it be to ask your child to give their life freely for somebody else? God did one amazing thing, giving his son to us freely, and Jesus freely taking it all to the cross for us. For me he did it for me no matter what i mean if i was the only one here he still would have done it if you were the only one here he still would have done it that's how much he loves us and that's how powerful his blood is it took one drop of his blood for all of us the blood of jesus has a voice that's your feeling of voice it speaks to us as we apply the blood to every issue and circumstance in our lives. Amen. You know, there's a scripture uh, in the New Testament. It talks about how his, the, 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 his blood, it speaks from the throne of God. And it speaks over us. And that blood has the voice to say, you have been released. You That's know, right. It has the voice to shout it out through humanity, uh, through the Holy Spirit, that our voice from the blood of Jesus Christ it will be an application to every issue and every circumstance in our lives. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus purifies our conscience. It has the power and the might to clean out the cobwebs in our minds. It all happens in the battlefield of the mind. Okay. Great pause. Uh, not just America. The world. The universe, everybody is suffering horribly, even Christians, from depression yes. mm -hmm. and loss of living. And where are we going? Now, if you look back in Scripture, just like, eh, thumb back through the Old Testament, wars, rumors of wars, battlefields, people are killed, they rise up, they go on with life. It's going to go on forever. Just like Jesus said, the poor you're going to have, how long? Forever. Until he comes again. There are right. circumstances in life, and this is what Jesus says to us, you know. In this battlefield of the mind, I want you to win here on earth. Yes. It's easy when we go to heaven. You don't have to worry about that. But it's having the faith to believe that you can be in your right mind, in a right situation, even if it's for bad. You can change the atmosphere. Everybody do this around your head. Change the atmosphere. It's your, it's your personal space. Yes. You know how people say, don't, don't get in my personal space here. You know, you know. All right, all right, back off, back off. Especially, we got that attitude in New Orleans, you know. <clears throat> You're sitting on a city bus in New Orleans. You, know, you look at a man like that, and suddenly I look at you, and, and, and you'll go, what are you looking at? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at anything. I was just, you know, suddenly I'm like, Okay, I'll just stare at the ceiling, <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stare at that street sign straight ahead because they're so touchy about everything. I know that New Yorkers are like that, but New Orleans people are wound tight because they don't have a lot of hope. 
there is a spirit of voodoo over yes. the city of New Orleans. You can fly in. You, you felt it last year when you flew in to see your mom. You get close in to the atmosphere, and you're like, poof. Yeah. You feel this darkness. <laughs> you feel this kind of like somebody's pulling a shade, you know. You feel and a chill, too, and yeah, you're just yeah, like, You can get the chill feel it. too. You, you don't even have to serve God. You can still feel it. Those, boy, it's strange here, huh? You feel something strange here on the streets, but you mm -hmm. feel it in the atmosphere. But, you know, Jesus Christ says, I am here that you will win the battlefield in your mind. You're going to have issues probably sometimes every moment of the day, every hour of the day. Okay, fine, you're, you're good for a few days. Then it tries to come back. What are you going to do? Ronnie said it. Speak to it. That's right. It's your voice, and your voice must hear what you're saying. Say it out loud. You can say, get away from me. I break it off. I change the atmosphere around me in my personal space that I'm going to believe the Lord Jesus, that I'm completely healed, and I have won the battlefield of the mind. All right, number 12. When you receive salvation, you now have the DNA of Jesus. So you're filling his DNA. The DNA of Jesus is coursing through your veins, washing, cleansing, making atonement for us. So if you know of anybody who's ever had like a bone marrow transplant, their DNA changes. Mm -hmm. Their DNA can change. They can go in beforehand and be pale, blonde, and pale skin, and after the bone marrow transplant, they can come out and be redheaded and freckles all over. So it takes time, but their body adjusts to the bone marrow transplant. It has a little different DNA, and so they kind of just, their DNA changes. So when you accept Jesus and you have his blood flowing through you, you are now has his DNA. You know, he makes atonement for us. So Jesus goes before God for the penalty to pay for sin. Mm -hmm. There is no debt. I'm debt free. God paid for it. You know, when it comes to sin, I am completely debt free. Yeah, yes. And he paid for it all. All right, let's, let's say this scripture together. Leviticus 17, 11. Are you ready? For the life, life of, of the, the flesh, flesh is, is in the blood, blood and, and I have, have given, given it to you upon the altar, altar to, to make atonement for your souls. souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. I want to say something more about the DNA. Now, uh, you were always in heart surgery, and you see all the blood, and it's going through the machine. Do they mm -hmm. cleanse that blood before they put it back into the heart? You know, let, let's say if you're getting a heart transplant, are you getting a, a valve replaced? No, so in um, open heart surgery, you we put different cannulas in the hearts and the different vessels. We actually take the blood it bypasses the heart. So that's why it's called bypass surgery. It comes out of the body, goes through a machine where it gets oxygenate, oxygen in it, and it comes back into the body and it, it forces it through the rest of the body. Mm -hmm. So the lungs and the heart aren't actually being used. So the lungs are completely collapsed and the heart isn't beating because everything goes through the machine. And the machine has an oxygenator on it, so it's like breathing in oxygen and it goes into the blood. So it gives oxygen to all the other organs in the body. So now sometimes, you know, if they have to give drugs and stuff to keep the heart stopped or to watch the blood pressure, you know, and everything, they will do that through, we call it the pump. Mm -hmm. They do it through the pump or the perfusionist pump because the, they have all the blood flowing right there. And you can see the blood going out of the tube into the machine, going through everything and coming back through a tube into the body. Mm. Wow, wow. Now set me straight on this. Uh, I forgot the note on this because I had it at home. I think uh, your heartbeat, uh, let's see, and is it one day or one week it beats 100,000 times? I don't remember what the number is on okay. that. All right, but it beats all the time for you. And just think about the beating of your heart with the blood coursing through your veins, giving you life, you know, bringing nourishment to all of your body. And then you can apply the blood of Jesus Christ to any and every situation. I want to talk about application. I like to, I apply the blood of Jesus yes. to you in, G, in Jesus' precious name that, you know, these things are going to come and your healing is there yes. for you. Yes. And a lot of other people say, I plead the blood. I personally never liked the word plead the blood, but I looked it up and it's good. It's, you can say either one, that you plead the blood. That means I'm going before and I'm asking the Lord, for my judgment case to be yes. 
Uh, but I like the application of the blood, maybe because my mom said it all the time. Oh, I plead the blood of Jesus. You know, she was in the good old, good old church back home. And then, and then my aunt, uh, my middle name is Loy, and my aunt Loy was up in the choir, and she'd go in her sweet country voice, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah for the blood. I still remember that as a little girl. But, you know, now it's, it's so sweet for me to hear that because she believed yes. in the blood and the application to your life. Now, let's say you don't have anybody around you. Come on, apply the blood to your own self. That's you can right. do that. I can, we can do it to each other. Yes, it's good. absolutely, absolutely. It's good to have BFFs, you know, yes. and, uh, <laughs> you know, to pray with. But sometimes That's you want. But you've got to be bold in God. You've got to have the confidence to say, I can apply and I, I say that application to me, it belongs to me, and I apply the blood of Jesus to my life. So I don't like the word plead so much either because to me it's like, I plead, oh, Lord Jesus, oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to beg him for anything. Right, right. He freely, you remember yeah. the verse? He freely gave his life. Right. We didn't have to beg him or plead for it or bargain with it. He just freely gave it to us. Mm -hmm. So, and... Yeah. But if you use that word, it's, it's good. Yeah. Because I did. I, yeah, you can use it. Well, that word kind of has bugged me has, over the years. Yeah. Because um, we were uh, in New Orleans, you know, we didn't, we didn't know about grace. Dave and I, did, we never heard grace in the church. Really, it's, it's in the scripture. But all of our ministry there under the strong ministry that we were uh, in New Orleans, they talked about works. You hadn't prayed enough. You didn't, you didn't witness enough this week. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't uh, spend enough time in church this week. You know, did you read your word? Oh, you were late for, you were late for work because you want, well, too bad. You should have read the word for all this judgment in the works, but not in the grace of Jesus Christ. So he says, freely I give to you. My precious blood is applied to every That's right. area of your body. So, you know, uh, the blood of atonement is also referred to in the Bible, no less than 36 times. In fact, the blood of Jesus instituted the new covenant and is the very foundation of our faith. So, you know, whenever you're in that situation, Pastor Ina, and you're like, you want someone to play with, pray with you to apply the blood, and you can't get a hold of anybody, you know you're not alone. Because you got you, you got God the Father, you got Jesus the Son, you got the Holy Spirit. So there's four of you right there. So you're never praying by yourself. It says we're two or more gathered. Well, you got two or more right there. So don't ever, ever hesitate to pray or apply that blood because you're not alone. You have a whole army with you. So you're right there. Go ahead. Okay. Jesus Christ purchased, like I just said, the new covenant. Jesus Christ purchased the church with his blood. So in Acts 20, 28, it says, therefore, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. Amen. So I want us to say these together. See how it says redeemed, cleansed, justified. So we're going to say I am because you're going to take it personally. Are you ready? I am redeemed. Deemed. I am cleansed. cleansed. I am justified. justified. I am reconciled. reconciled. Hallelujah. His blood has done all of these things. Yes. I thank you for that reconciliation of anything that didn't go wrong in my life. It goes right, That's right. with the precious blood of Jesus. So there's verses with those. That's your homework. You go look those verses up, and you study on that, and God's going to give you your own revelation. Yes. Amen. So do you know Jesus shed his blood five times? Five is the number for the God's grace. So the first time was in Luke twenty two forty four, and that was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Um, some of these verses we don't have written out, but it's homework for you guys. I have them in the notes. You go home, and you study this, and you look at it, and you find the truth yourself, and you look up the word yourself. But in the Garden, he went, and he prayed, and he prayed, and he prayed, and he had sweat drops of blood flowing from him. That's the first time he shed the blood for us. After the second time he shed blood 
was in Matthew 27, 26, when they beat him with the cat of nine tails. And in the message, it said they whipped him, whipped him, and it drew blood on his back. The third time in Matthew 27, 29, is when they took that crown of thorns and they pushed it down on his head. Like how many times have you guys gone out and picked a rose or you've picked blackberries and there's thorns on the bushes and you get pricked and it kind of bleeds a little bit? Can you imagine those huge thorns and they took it and they just pushed it down in his head to make him bleed and he had the, the blood drops coming down? The fourth. On the, on the crown of thorns, the Lord showed me some years ago, I was praying with a lady. He said, the crown of thorns is on your head and it's pushed down because I've delivered you from migraines. Yes. Anybody that I has issues with migraines, tell other people. You go and witness to them and say, this is the precious crown of thorns that Jesus, he had it pushed down after all that he suffered, but that releases us from the migraine headaches and from brain injuries and yes. from brain tumors. Yes. Um, and anything, strokes, and anything strokes, with the head, anything, anything with the head. with the head, amen. And then the next time was the act of crucifixion. They used nine-inch nails, went through his hands and his feet. Now, you know that drew blood. Nine-inch nails. Now, if I was a man who went fishing, I'd say nine-inch nails. <laughs> but nine-inch nails is probably about like that. Yeah. Can you imagine that with each pound, the pain that he felt mm -hmm. each time? Yeah. Because you know they didn't do it in one swipe. You know they wanted to draw it out and make it as painful as possible. Can you imagine that through his hands and his feet? Yeah. Yeah. That, was the, that was the fourth time they drew blood. Now, there's a lot of controversy going on about where the nails were driven. Was it in his hands? Oh, was it in the wrist? Look, carpal tunnel. Right there. Everybody suffers from carpal tunnel these days. You know, he's done it for us. And then the controversy about whether the spikes went in the hand or in that upper part is they said, well, if they're in the hand, then he would have slipped off the cross. You know, it would have just torn and he would have fallen on the cross. Um, I don't know either, but I'm going to give this little quick uh, uh, message. Um, what is the name of that little book? And the little boy went to heaven. Uh, is that the little child that went, Heaven's mm -hmm. for Real? Heaven's okay, for Real. I haven't read that in a while. But, you know, he was talking about different things. Mommy, I saw this. Mommy, I saw this. Mommy, I saw our, my sister. He says, no, you didn't. Yeah, Mommy, I saw my sister. What is her name? Jesus said you never gave her a name. The little child had seen the sister that the mom had lost at about five months, and uh, so forth. And then he goes, yeah, Mommy, and then when I saw Jesus, he had red markers in his hands. He didn't know how else to say it, but it was, there was the scars in his hands yep. that the little boy had seen. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that, yeah, four years old, that did that. It's, it's the red markers in his hands, Mommy. I saw it. So it's just such an a awesome thing to be reminded of that precious blood that was spilled. Why is this blood so special and powerful? It was of supernatural origin. Uh, oh, I skipped ahead. Okay, the spear in his side. The spear in his side, and then the water and the blood ran down. You know, now remember, he had no broken bones. But when they said, okay, is he, is he dead yet or something? No. No, well, let's just see, you know. And they stuck him with that. In his side. And I, think, I think that's when his heart burst. And there's significance between the water and the um, blood both coming out. And that will be another sermon. Right. But there's significance to that. Right, right. And I, I think of the, um, the hymn from uh, uh, John Wesley that he wrote years ago about the blood of Jesus Christ. The application of it. How it cleanses us. How it purifies us. I'd love to sing that song, but we're going to move on. Amen. <clears throat> so... Go ahead. You say um, right there. Why was his blood so special and powerful? It was of supernatural origin, born of a virgin, untouched by sinful nature, which resides within the blood supply of every man born of Adam. Mm -hmm. We're all sinful. It's in our nature. It's in our DNA. We're born with it because of the fall of Adam. So his blood was of 
supernatural origin. That's your fill-in. We like to say naturally supernatural, too. Yeah. Well, as my husband always prays for me, he goes, I put the super on your natural. Oh, that's a good one. So supernatural, supernatural, that natural. Amen. Amen. So here's all of the benefits that we have, and we're going to say these together. You have something else to say? No, nope, not yet. Okay. Let's start saying them at redemption. Ready? Redemption. redemption. And I'll say redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. Justification. Justification. Justified by his blood. Peace. peace. Having made peace by the blood of his cross. Deliverance. He freed us from our sins by his blood. Conscience cleansing. The blood of Christ cleanses the conscience. Cleansing from sin. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. Brought near by the blood of Christ. Filthy robes washed. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Overcoming spirit. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Protection, Protection from, from God's, God's wrath. wrath. Propitiation in his blood. Access to God's sanctuary. We enter the sanctuary through the blood of Jesus. Sanctification. Sanctification. Jesus suffered outside the gate to sanctify the people with his blood. Do you know what outside the gate? You're a leper outside the gate of the city. Uh, you've committed uh, terrible sins outside the gate. Uh, you're, you're bleeding someplace, you've got some other kind of disease, uh, you're criminal outside the gate. There's nothing and no aspect that Jesus with his precious blood did not suffer through and win the victory because he even identified with all the people that were outside the gate. That means the salvation and the blood of Jesus Christ is for everyone, Every human on this earth it's a gift that you can apply to your life so you may be you may be thinking but i have the biggest problem the greatest problem ever it is so huge you just don't understand nobody can understand what i'm going through it's just so large there's nothing anybody can do well you know what the greatest problem that you could ever think of ever have the only solution to it is the blood of jesus once you have the blood of Jesus and you accept him as your Savior and his blood, his DNA, you are his, you belong to him, that's all you need. Everything else will fall into place. Amen. I just want to say that, you know, Dave, he died of a blood disorder. He was losing blood in his body. But he will tell me as he's looking over the balcony of heaven, keep on speaking it. The precious blood of Jesus still heals today. Uh, there was a large portion of Dave, and he would talk to me. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't catch it at first. You know, I hadn't been able to talk about this before now. And it was all about six months before all this began to happen. He would tell me how he longed to see the Lord Jesus. And he had these walks with him, and then he would break down and cry. Dave was not, not one that cried, okay? And he would tell me about these, and I... And I would, just, I would just say it in passing, Dave, are you going to leave me? Are you going to leave me for heaven? And um, didn't know that that was what was going to come. But regardless, I'm still saying it, you're saying it, we're all saying uh -huh. it. The precious blood of Jesus is there for us for any disease, and healing is for this moment, and it's for today. That's right. I heard something from Joel Osteen recently. He said, you know, I, I asked the Lord because... I was kind of upset and identified uh, with what I had gone through. Uh, and he says, uh, you know, we, we had these scriptures over my mom, and she was completely healed of liver failure and liver disease. The liver and the pancreas are blood organs, okay? You can't do without them. If they get diseased, you know, things go south real quick because they can't operate like they want to, and you know all about that with surgeries and so forth. But here he says, uh, we said all these scriptures, and in six weeks, he said she was completely yellow. You know, she had such weakness, and the Lord says, I want you to get up. I want you to go start uh, making some dinner for your family, and I just want you to walk this out. And he said she just struggled so much, just going into the kitchen, just laboring over just simple things because she, she had such weakness, and God completely healed her. And then he says, then my dad... You know, he had been healed of many things, and then suddenly he dies of heart failure. And I'm like, God, what's this all about? 
We said the same scriptures. We did the same things, but these things happened. We did the same things with Dave, but he still went to heaven. Um, I don't have the answer. Do you have the answer? Do you have the answer for your sweet twin sister? You don't. And we're, we're not even going to care about it once we get to heaven. I just say that I miss him here on earth. But we don't have answers to these things. However, we still say that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses our bodies. We have human bodies that break down all the time. You might suffer from varicose veins. You might suffer from a heart issue. You might suffer from uh, stomach and intestinal issues. And by the way, let's pray for Virgil, who suffer, suffers from severe colitis and has the bleeding now and then, that he will be completely healed. But, you know, just be reminded that the healing is here. Yes. I believe in healing. I'm going to believe for healing in my own body till I take my last breath, yeah. just like Dave did. Amen? Yeah. And as his last words before he, he went to heaven, he just says, um, I'm going to be in the great cloud of witnesses. Yeah. This is about three days before he passed. And then after that, he didn't say anything else. We we're like, yeah, yeah. Me and Matthew and Charlie are looking over him, you know. And then he did this. Like he was blowing a trumpet. So, so hallelujah. So on that note, you know, we miss him terribly. But he is victorious. He won. He is where we all want to be. You know, so just in closing. Do you want me to read that? You know, you receive the infusion of the Jesus blood. You can do it every hour of every day. It is a gift to mankind that all may enter into eternal life. Mm -hmm. Dig into the word. Dig into, you know, what the word says, the truth. Find it. Let the blood of Jesus speak to you. It has a voice and will be applied to every issue in your life. Mm -hmm. Just speak to your body. Speak to the issues in your life. Yeah. Apply the blood of Jesus over it. So if any of you today don't have that oomph inside, you don't have Jesus as your Savior. You're not living for him. You need the blood of Jesus. You need it to apply to your life. When we do the altar call, come forward. Yes. Don't be shy. Amen. Find someone. to. If you're not comfortable coming up here, find one of our leaders. Find one of our pastors. Yes. Yes. You know, just, just take the opportunity. Don't Amen. wait because you never know what tomorrow is going to hold. Amen. Amen. You don't yes. know what tomorrow is going to hold. You Amen. don't know what tonight's going to hold. Just take you, your own destination into your hands and seek after him, and he will direct you all the paths. You want to say something? Can I share a funny moment with Pastor Dave with you guys just for about 30 seconds? Y'all don't mind? Memorial Day here, one service, you know, many years ago, he said, all of you who have served, stand up. Well, I stood up over here. He came over later, and he said, Ronnie, I never knew you was in the military. I said, I've never been. He said, but you stood up. I said, you didn't say military. You said, all of you who have served. He hit me so hard in the shoulder. Now, some of you will follow along with that, and some of you won't. But I wasn't in the military, but I served. A little jail time. <laughs> okay, we're going to stand right now. I thank you so much for your listening to us. I pray that you look. look Y'all give us feedback, okay? And we can give this sermon in even another way so that, so that you will know the application of the blood of Jesus Christ is real.